Hello everybody, welcome back to Born Losers Gaming and welcome back to Pokemon Arceus. Uh, in the last part we beat a big old bug and got the blessing of the Mountain King. Sure did, sure did, could not put that better myself. And now, just give us a nice potato mochi to celebrate. Which is great, I, I love having a traditional way to celebrate, it's very, very nice. You'd think this old man, am I imagining it? Or does what? this old man look like a 13-year-old with a fake beard? It does kind of look that way. I actually agree. <laughs> oh, no. Have you all heard the grave news? That frenzy Cleavor from the rumors. It ended up mauling some of our galaxy folks who went out to investigate this morning. Oh. The medical corps has had a hard time getting all the injured back on their feet. Are you just you just tell people this casually? Like, yeah, people who are dead sucks. This was the past, man. Yeah. Shit just happened <laughs> in the past. Ah, uh, this is the cleaver that was reportedly struck by powerful lightning. Yes, I did hear he's been Oh, that's what we saw in the first cutscene, really. Oh. Not yeah. first, but early one. I did hear he's been behaving most erratically since then. Still, if further investigation is in order, the Survey Corps will, of course, step up to the task. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when researching unfamiliar Pokemon, but I'm sure Blue here can handle things just fine. <laughs> Rise face! But that cleaver is said to be much, much stronger than even an alpha Pokemon, isn't he? Now, now, you forget that the strength of Pokemon are key items of information that we of the Survey Corps are duty-bound to research. And since this perilous work of ours calls for a clear head and fighting fit physique, I do believe a good night's sleep is in order after this fine meal. I've never seen them take a bite. Well, you get to hear him take the bite. It sounds like they're eating the plates, but that's honestly fine. It also sounds like they're using forks. Well, maybe they are, you know? And this seeding is after, forks. <clears throat> this is after, uh, what's his name? Popularized forks. <laughs> I think. I, should <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not. Rise and shine, Blue. I love that Ray is just hanging well, out with us all the time. The boss wants you. Kamado, that is. Get yourself to the commander's office. Oh, oh the guy shoot. that threw us like a rag oh, doll. Oh, wonderful. Check okay. our closet. Our closet? Do we have a closet? Yeah. Don't we? We, do, we don't have a closet. Oh, oh, oh. Some of these stones that someone must have found, but they're just plain old stones. Look at oh. our mirror. The, what? You gonna... Yeah, that's yeah. a change outfit. I know. That's what I want to do. Oh, well, that's not the closet. We've done this before. We oh. have everyday kimono trousers. Uh, we have our casual tee, of course, which we should not wear. I love our casual tee. <laughs> I kind of uh, like our normal sandals. I do, too, but I want to I wanna go... Um, See if we can purchase new items now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we're back in town. We have a little bit of time. I feel a little bit better about kind of wandering around town now that we've gotten a few things done in the series. So Yeah, now that our boss wants us, I want to go shopping. Yes, absolutely. That's what I was thinking. Just putting it off. Did you get a good rest? <laughs> well, she's just looking at us. Oh, that place definitely has clothes. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Look, he's being punctual. Finally realized you're wasting almighty Santa's precious time by bowing to a sham. What the? Uh, who are you two? Uh, okay. Y'all look a little strange. That one looks a little bit, I guess, like, May, maybe? But you, I don't know. That might be a bit of a stretch. There you go again, insisting on your false image of the almighty Sinnoh as the ruler of time. My people follow the true almighty Sinnoh, the font of all creation, the ruler of space. Don't just argue in arbitrary. Ha! Huh, you could have all the space there is and still not know what to do with it. <laughs> Excuse me! Are you really suggesting that you make better use of your time than we make of vast history space? <laughs> better than some. It's a miracle you showed up on time, oh mighty leader of the Pearl Clan. This five-year-old uh, is the leader of the Pearl Clan? I'm worried you'd get lost in the pointlessly vast space you're so fond of and never show up. <laughs> me? Get lost? In Almighty Sinnoh's great gift to the Pearl Clan, in our world's vast, very basis, you wish. I, I think he does wish, actually. Okay, so Diamond and Pearl Clans uh, don't get along very well. Yeah, clearly. I wish that I hadn't let myself get dragged into arguing with you. Almighty Sinnoh, forgive me. What a waste of time. I'm off to Commander Kamado's office. Okay, so I get it now. Yeah. They think Sinnoh is the name for Arceus and Palkia. They think Dialga it's one Palkia. person, but it's two people. Dialga and Palkia, right? Whatever. I just have to make sure that- Dialga and Palkia, yeah. because one of them saying space Sinnoh, one, one of them, of them saying, saying time Sinnoh. Yes. And that where, would does make Ar where does Arceus fit in this? Arceus, god damn it. Up your ass, I'm not talking Whoa. about Arceus right now. Okay, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Even though I said their name. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's a. Uh, that is interesting. Just another day with those two, I see. That man's name is Adamant. He's the leader of the Diamond Clan. They put a lot of importance on time, as you could probably tell. And the girl is Arita, leader of the Pearl Clan. They're all about space. You heard what she called her, right? Our world very basis. Whenever they run into each other, the same arguments flare up. Seems like they've inherited some bad blood from, the, from their predecessor's strife. Interesting. Interesting, yeah. Oh, well, not our problem. <laughs> <laughs> what a good way to deal with things. <laughs> but you'll have problems if you don't get yourself to the commander's office, Blue. Got it. I'm I going go right shopping. there. I'm going right I think, there. Okay, I think the la this lady shells close. Yep. A special parcels arrived with your name. Oh. Oh? Oh, thank you. You received a modern jacket, a pair of modern trousers, a pair of... What? What a precious gift. What? Who? What? Who gave it to... Anyway, all right. Clothing you can purchase new items. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Yes, bye. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, oh, I'm going golfing. Okay, so. <laughs> that's the, that's it. That's the joke. I could be wrong. Yes. But I'm fairly sure the clothes we just got gifted were a pre-order bonus. Oh, you think so? I'm pretty sure. Oh, oh that's cute. Hello. I like I that. Like It'll keep the sun out so of our circular. eyes. circular. Festival mask. Oh, <gasps> I like it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I like it. What did you say? Okay, this one's better. No, I, 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 I like Shinx more as a Pokemon, mm -hmm. but the Bidoo features are more obvious on a mask. No, I disagree. I, I actually fully disagree. I don't know if you can disagree. That's just I a statement. I literally can. I, I, can t I can disagree every day of the week. All right. <laughs> and I will. Head, okay, so there's a bunch of headbands. Oh, they're dangle. Did Are they changing the back? No, no that's just a scarf just, yeah. resetting every time. Okay, so that's all we got for the head. I don't think I really want to get anything. I like the mask, actually. I do. I mean, but I like. I mean, look at the big yellow eyes. I really I do, like. I think the woven hat might be my favorite, though. I just don't like how big it is. I don't like it with his hair. I think that's rude. Sorry. It's just how I feel. I think you Let's need to feel differently. Men. Yes, of course we feel differently, and that's fine. Okay, cool little kimonos. I like these. But everyday kimono, that's just kind of like ochre. Oh, yeah, that's my favorite color. Ochre. Oak. <laughs> Build your question of the day. Is this your favorite color? You go around telling people, oh, yeah, my favorite color is ochre. Oh, well, well my favorite color is blue spruce. Depends yeah, my favorite color is cyndaquil. So, um. Okay, the cyndaquil is oh. the. Oh. Hello? Oh, that's adorable. I actually love this. That's so cute. I want to buy, but okay, but what jeans can we put it with? Oh, we have yeah, a bunch Yeah, I'm of sure you're putting on jeans. Well, whatever, trousers. Okay, god damn. Oh, okay. Oh, little fancy pants. Yeah, but that looks ridiculous. Yeah, buy the shirt I and then buy the pants. No, God, Ian, no. Ian, if I have one thing to say about this series, it's that you're putting that cynical outfit on. Why would you make us on. ugly? You're ugly. I'm no, not you're not. Ugly. You're very handsome. I appreciate I'm that. sorry. I, I that lied back. and had to immediately correct so, myself. So, yeah, I put this on. Go try the pants. That, this That's looks, so cute. No, it's, do, no, try it's not. The, try different shoes on. The shoes look silly. Okay. I actually will. I'll try. Yeah, look. With no. The, with the no, top. With the one no. above it. I look like a little candy cane grumble. Go all the way to the bottom. There's probably some that match. I mean, I should probably write. Nope. There are not. Uh... Yeah, I wow, I it is kind of crazy how much I don't like this. That's really unfortunate because I just like it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Like maybe oh oh shit, full body things. Oh nice, interesting. Like maybe with uh, let me think. Is it just like black? Crimson? I hate every other. I hate every other pant. Like this is almost fine. I could rock this. Mmm, I like it with the shorts. Well, I just do. I just like the shorts. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I... I. Uh, oh! Yeah, that's that's it. If I were to wear this attire, this is what I would do. Ugh. If we have to wear the cynical one, I ask you for this middle ground. Fine, but change the shoes. Really? Yeah. I... Put on sandals. Okay. Ah, oh, I didn't change my pants! Ah. Well, then what channel? Oh, wait, wait. Bright red. Where is Crimson. Yeah, uh, yeah okay. it's cute. All right, put these on. I th oh, I did it again. I'm mashing B. Okay, so now, yes, all done chopping. We spent all our money, dude. Good. We spent... No, it's not good. All right. Uh, okay, help you change clothing. Get the different pants Try on. Try all the modern stuff, too, by the way. Oh, yeah. Uh, modern jacket. 
Oh, oh. shit, that's a galactic yes, uniform. Yes, that is. Where did this come from again? Uh, where, did, where did we get this from? <laughs> maybe I'm wrong about that being a pre-order bonus. Oh, God. Okay, everybody tries a blue spruce. And then we want... There we go. Oh, you know what? That's cute. That's, this is kind of cute. I'll take it. Okay. Finish changing. We can get glasses eventually. There's a glasses icon on there. Oh, really? Well, I, I think for right now, yeah. Well, you know what? This. Okay. It's this adorable. Is, it would is... look cuter with the shorts, mm -hmm. but I do like this outfit. Yeah. I, I, you want to well, see I don't if, if there's hair? Hair? Not. We've already went there once, so I don't want to go there again. Like, not yet, right? Right. Maybe a little later into the game. And plus, I like our hair. I Agreed actually really like our hair with this outfit. I think it fits very well. Yeah, it does look good. All right. Oh, we're going upstairs. Oh, well, why don't we go talk to Cyrene? Let's see if she has anything to say about us being a two-star. Oh, that's you. Sorry. <laughs> if you have progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. Yo, let's go. You like what you see? I like that you have to open it up. We're a like two-star now, so. Yeah. Hmm. You have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. Thank you. This song, this track reminds me of something out of Pokemon Stadium, but I don't know what else it's from. Yeah. I, I actually don't know where it is in the mainline games or if it's just a stadium exclusive. With this, you have officially attained the rank of second star in the Galaxy Expedition team. Damn. Feather ooh, ooh, for lighter, uh, I'm assuming lighter ones. Oh, Pokemon up to 30 will obey us. Perfect. More generous. Love that shit for us. Have these. Feather, feather ball. balls. Recipe. We don't have any Sky Tumblestone, though. We don't. Super Ooh. potions. Okay, that's good. Peppa. Oh, we found a, at least one Peppa plant. Continue to dedicate yourself to completing the Pokedex if you hope to rise higher in the ranks. I will. Thank I you. I wonder... Because I'm not watching other people play this game, obviously. Yeah. So I'm kind of curious... Uh, oh, this is... A, oh, it's Rowlet! Oh, uh, look at you up there. Hey, so then where's, baby. Where's Oshawott right now? Uh Oh, in the... Oh, oh my God. Oh and then where God. would a Syndical be? They're oh. right there. The fireplace. What? To the side fireplace. Oh, that is... With yep, the you're plate right. of peppers. Yep. Oh, oh, my wow. God. Wow. Okay. That's great. You're my favorite person all of a sudden. <laughs> There's some requests posted on the blackboard. Which one will you check? Uh Oh. Oh, uh, let's do the... Playing, playing with, with oh, I bet children got abducted. It seems several people have spotted a Drifloon playing with one of the <gasps> village children. <gasps> mm. Mickey from the security corps can tell you more. Speak with her and get to the bottom of this. <laughs> all right, well, let's start all of these then. Because yeah, I'll, I'll, there's some requests. Yeah, let's just get them all. <clears throat> it seems the band above us of Badoof keeps sneaking into the village, causing trouble and mischief. Of course. <laughs> Talk to Samugi from the security corps. Yeah, got it. Got it. And then final thing, what is the last one? Zubat's eyes. Clarissa for the security corps has a request for us. I think it was Zubat, I believe. Got it. All right. I could do all that. No problem. I think Zubat oh actually do have <laughs> eyes, right? Oh, no. <laughs> Whose eyes? I, Whose eyes? I've seen everything. I showed you my please respond. No. <laughs> Sorry. Let's go get thrown again. I mean, yeah, right. So now I, I'm curious. So does this map show? Okay, missions. So that's our main mission. Our request. Can can we? Oh, so we can only do one at a time, which it makes sense. It does. Uh, Zubat's eyes. Where is? So that's interesting. Okay, so that's good. So if we want to go do that right now, we could. But obviously, let's stick to the main mission for now, because mm -hmm. it's not just gonna throw us out of the town. That's another request, I think. Yo, what up? How you doing? Hello. Your face is very square. I oh, like splendid. it. You came along. You came along at a good time. I'm looking for a picking a pickling stone. You see? Would you mind lending me a hand? It needs to be the right size to fit atop one of my pickle pots and heavy enough to put a nice firm pressure on the pickles while they're fermenting. Hmm. But I suppose it'll be hard for me to lift such a heavy thing from the pot. Best thing would be for the stone to lift uh, itself up, actually. Oh, I have a rather good idea. There's a Pokemon called Geodude that lives on Deer Track Heights. It would be perfect for the job. Could you catch one and bring it back to me? Ma I'll head home and wait. Don't wait. I have it right here. I'll just give it to you. Are you asking for a Geodude yeah. so you can force it to sit on a pot <laughs> and then for pick it up days while things pickle? Yeah, and then pick it, uh, then pick it all up afterwards. Anyway, um, <laughs> we'll not, maybe I won't finish that request. That seems a little uh, mean. It's fine. 
What do you intend to do about the cleaver, Captain Kamado? He may be descended from a warrior of almighty sin, but look at the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him rage on. You do get right to the point, Adamant. Time wasted is lost. Oh, yeah, yeah you would, Jesus. Mm. Well, tell me, what would you have us do? Cleaver is the precious lord of the Pearl Clan. Is he not? That's the point. My clan can't intervene directly where a lord of the Pearl Clan's concerned. If my people were to do something, our two clans might end up back at each other's throats. Just like we used to be. Okay, yeah, that would be bad. But even folk of the Galaxy team have been wounded, haven't they? Seems someone's got to do something here. Who then? Would the Diamond Clan have the clan, the Pearl Clan bring down one of its own honored nobles? Yeah, that is a rough situation. Yeah. I don't believe I said that. Thought it, maybe. You might as well have said it, you fool. God, you two do not get along. Look, we don't even know what drove Lord Cleaver into such a violent frenzy. It might have been the lightning yeah, bolt. Yeah, it was probably the lightning. Like, that shit sucks, if probably. If I got struck by lightning, I'd be pissed. Yeah. <laughs> and lived afterwards. This guy's hair is so good. Yes. I'd like to know that myself. This is the first as far as my clan knows, too. Hmm. I see you've arrived. Hi. I fix everyone's problems in town. Hello. This I'm a child. Blue. I, I'm a kid. The newest <laughs> member of our survey corps. I mean, so is the captain of the pearls or whatever. Yeah. Aha. I hear from my. You've earned uh, wire to your favor. Good to finally meet you, stranger from the rift. I'm Adamant, leader of the Diamond Clan, if you want to be formal, but that's a mouthful. Just call me Adamant. If you came from beyond space-time rift, could you be from space where Almighty Sinnoh is said to reside? Oh, uh, <laughs> I don't really... I'm... Iri it's hard to read Like the potato! A I'm a rider. <laughs> <laughs> I love french fries. Leader of the Pearl Clan, caution and, caution and foresight are my watchwords. What are, what are the... the Fries called Orida. Is, is it Orida? Orida, but it is with Arida. an O. Oh, you're Arida, right. Orida, or maybe it is an I. Orida, <laughs> which is why I have trouble believing such a tale. Could you really have passed through that rift? Yeah, I mean, if I just tell people where I'm from, well, that might mess with some stuff. So maybe it's yeah. better that I keep my mouth shut. I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study Cleaver before deciding what must be done? You'd send this stranger who supposedly fell from a rift to study Cleaver. This newcomer with no experience? Yeah, I've got a hot shit. Sorry, bud. Yeah, we caught Geodudes <laughs> and insulted them mercilessly. <laughs> Says the leader with almost no experience. Oh, so maybe she is young. You're right. I mean, she looks 14, but he looks, what, 17? Yeah. Being a good leader isn't a matter of time. It's a matter of embracing Hisui's vastness without fear. Well, then there you have it. If how, if how new you are doesn't matter, then let's give the kid a chance. I'm sold, Commander. Let's try it your way. Okay, this should be fun. I'll get to see how good you galaxy folk really are with all your weird ways, putting Pokemon in those strange balls and what have you. That's true, if the rest of the people don't do that, it's interesting. <laughs> that whole practice bothers me. Almighty Sido made Hisui vast so Pokemon could live freely throughout. Not a, I mean, not a bad philosophy to have, right? Like, Yeah, we're meant to stand alongside Pokemon, not count, uh, not count ourselves above them. Yeah, you'd get along with the fifth generation people, I think. You would. Is your <laughs> hair kind of green, actually, come to think of it? We do not use Pokeballs from a desire to control our Pokemon, only so that we can live together. Allow us to show you what we can do. I mean, we're also controlling them. Uh, We've yeah. got like 47 in a box right yeah, now. Yeah, let's not talk about that. This is your mission now, Blue. I order you to study Cleaver and help us find the truth of the situation. You got it, dude. For sure. Remember that you're a stranger who appeared one day out of the very sky above us. People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work yourself to the very bone. Stop wearing such weird clothes. Never mind, actually, I guess with these two around. Yeah, uh, <laughs> no, we're, we're fine, You're I fitting think. in very well. <laughs> well, that's settled, and there's no time like the present. The Lord of the Woods, Cleaver is descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's own power. No other Pokemon you've yet encountered com compare to his strength. Be warned. Glad that we got that extra star then so that we can have it to level 30. It's yeah, for sure. Good. And hopefully we won't kill it like that. Yeah. The... 
Listen to me. The Galaxy Expedition team has come to the Hazui region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call us interlopers. We mustn't do anything to threaten our relations with the Diamond and Pearl clans. Understand? Oh. Ah. <laughs> hey, buddy. Come join me downstairs, Blue. We'll cover the details of this new mission. Hmm. It's interesting seeing him talk about like, oh yeah, yeah, we can't do, we can't mess up our relations here, right? And then to have what is, I'm assuming the ancestor to someone who really messes it up, you yeah. know, in the future games, I just mean, standing right. By, it's cool. It's, it is. It is really cool. It's actually kind of cool, like watching the story unfold. Because I'm curious where it might go. I'm wondering if uh, his connection to her is how he finds out about the god Pokemon. Because oh. she theoretically knows us when we interact with them. Oh? I might not understand what you're saying. But uh, keep reading yeah. for Levent today. Uh, you're already here. Hi, buddy. Why are you so weird? <sighs> oh, Professor Leventon. The briefing, if you please. Hey, you got it, dude. Yes, let's get right to it. So, Blue, I understand you've been requested to find out the cause of Cleaver's frenzied state. But as you're aware by now, Cleaver is a mighty thing. Now invinci- Oh, Jesus, nobody said <laughs> invincible! Yeah. The security corps tried throwing Pokeballs at Cleaver when they were attacked, but I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching him. It seems he's a far trickier opponent than even those aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle once they're riled. Yeah, so we've got a problem. I'd like to be perfectly clear on this point. This mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? I've said it once, I'll say it a million times. Of course. You got it, dude. <laughs> Stop calling me dude. Very well. It's weird. What is a dude? What is, what is, am I a dude? Then let us go over the particulars. We are all dudes on this blessed earth. We are all dudes. <laughs> So stupid. The Diamond and Pearl clans revere their nobles because they believe these Pokemon serve their almighty sinner. <laughs> They're stupid. They're dumb. dumb god. <laughs> okay. They leave offerings to express their gratitude to these Pokemon in locations they call the Noble Seats. Interesting. So perhaps a good starting point for our research could be to find out what sorts of offerings they normally leave for this cleaver. Okay, that makes eh. sense to me. What if we're going to be able to go to the other villages, you know? Oh, Blue, oh. we need to speak with you. Hi, Diamond people. Listen, that rift in space-time seems like it connects this world to a whole other world. That would might, that world might be where Almighty Sinnoh itself resides. The true Almighty Sinnoh, that is. The one that rules over time. So, if you fell through the space-time rift, that might mean you travel through time. By Almighty Sinnoh's own power. Think of it. You might have been just swimming in his divine might. <laughs> well, I've got a favor to ask of you. Oh, amazing time traveler. Don't just set a cleaver. Quell his frenzy. Well, you certainly caught us at a good time, young Adamant. We were just discussing our next steps with regard to this whole cleaver situation. Oh, you must be that galaxy team scholar I've heard about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. Share some of that knowledge with me sometime. Now, let me elaborate a little. Those Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Cleaver. You heard his title, Lord of the Woods. I'm sure they'd rather... <laughs> I've had that title for many years. Oh. I'm sure they'd rather get this under control too, but it's hard for them to come right out and ask those of the, the Galaxy team of all people for help. And the truth is, we in the Diamond Clan have a similar problem on our hands. A Pokemon dear to us, off in the mountains, has flown into the same type of frenzy as Cleaver. Now, there's certainly bad blood between us, us and the Pearl Clan, but still... We've all got to share his suey, and that means we ought to tackle our problems together. This guy's got green in his hair, too. Yeah, really. Oh, but these aren't many cap- <laughs> But there aren't many capable of standing up to such powerful Pokemon. You're the best hope we've got. You'll find Cleaver at Grand Tree Arena. That's in the very heart of Heartwood. Okay. <laughs> heart of Heartwood. Home. Heart of, yeah, heart of Heartwood. His warden is a boy named Lion. Leon. Okay. Lion. Leon! Leon! There's little Leon! Wow! <laughs> Leon is a brilliant child, but also a bit, well, sometimes brilliant can be blinding, you know? <laughs> yes, I know. He's a bit of a freak. Oh, never mind. He'll Take tell you back. about his beloved cleaver, whether you wish him to or not. I've known people like that. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure you're up at the challenge, so we'll be counting on you. See you later. I, I've known. I might have to talk about this once I get control again. Yeah, I will. Wow. I've just... mentioned. <laughs> I've what? mentioned the green hair thing twice. 
Mm -hmm. I'm implying that they're the ancestors of Inn from Black and White. I think that would be a bit much. I think they would have been a bit more, uh, you know, upfront with it. Why? I don't know. I mean, everyone else. You saw the other person. They looked just like the gym leader. That's true. Wow. I'm sure they're from a game I've never played. He just said his piece of them vanished. He must just value his time that much, I guess. Adam and Amai went wrong, you know. If you're to study and perhaps even quote Cleaver, you'd best start by visiting his abode. Now we've got. Now that we've got the Heights camp, it should come in handy for getting to Grand Tree Arena. And don't forget to visit the pastures. Choosing your Pokemon team carefully makes a difference. I um. Yeah, I don't know. I I mean, I'm sure there's some of these characters going to be like game exclusives, right? Oh yeah, not I'm everyone sure. could be an ancestor. Finding yourself unable to pick up the materials you come across, satchel always seeming full. If that sounds like you, it'd be wise to lend me your ear a moment and hear what I have to say. Or are you gonna be oh. able to give us a bigger sack? I mean. Yeah, what you got to say, Lupin? Yeah. You can carry around even more of that satchel of yours if you learn the trick to packing things in. I could teach you if you'd like. What do you say? Yeah. Okay, sure. I like your initiative. My teacher fee is a neat one hundred dollars. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, whatever. Perfect. Then lend me an ear a moment. You may space to keep one more kind of one. one, 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 and that's all there is to it. You see how much more you can fit by packing things tightly. If you want to be able to carry even more things, there's more I can teach you. What? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Two hundred. Okay. I uh, see. Okay, so that's what this is gonna be. Yep, one more kind. Beautiful. That's uh huh. I'd much rather go collect Korok seeds. I'm not even kidding. Uh, oh my god. We don't need to buy anything else. We've already gone and we've got our clothes, this right? This guy's a scam artist. This guy is a scam artist, but it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I, I would love more. Oh my god. I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna, stopping at five, okay? It's going to go up by 500, every, 100 every time. That's what it's looking for. I, I'd have to skyrocket at some point, right? You think but so? I, it's going to be like 500. Next up, I need um a million. A thousand. Mm -hmm. A hundred billion. <sighs> How much is it? <gasps> I knew it. It doubled. No. Yes. No. Yeah, do no. It. Five is five is enough. Five is a nice even number, well, you know? Well, if kick you in the balls. How then much how much is your if I kick you yeah. in the nuts? How much is your teaching fee then, bitch? I'll show you how to pack some shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Back yeah, I think you've got a future bet shit in your Elvis. sack, too. <laughs> what are you saying? Huh? I had my own piece to say. Go talk to that gardener that looks like the gym leader. Which? Oh. Behind wait. you. Go talk to him. What? No, the other way behind the, you. Yeah, the way that I was facing? Yeah. Go oh, behind me. Yeah, behi it was behind you when I said it, I'm pretty okay, sure. Okay, shut up. For one to the, second. To the right now. Uh, I want to look at the missions real quick. So I do want to go turn in some of the requests because we got like Zubat's eyes. Which means that it is this way. Oh, oh so we're actually going. Oh, we're passing by. No, go talk to him. Why? We didn't. We haven't talked to him since the first episode. There's I, no way he looks like this guy for no reason. I mean, maybe for stuff later. There's stuff we can berries on the wild, so I'm hoping we can grow them here instead. Here in the village fields, you can have crops grown for. Oh. Okay. Well, you know what? It worked out, Casey. Yeah. What kind of harvest are you interested in? Um, I guess let's do apricorn first. Uh, sure. Nice. All right, cool. Then I guess... I think if they look like characters we know, we should talk to them. Then you know what? That's honestly a little fair. What's up, buddy? Hi, Clarissa of the security court. That's me. Thank you so much for taking on my request. I need you to catch a Zubat and show it to me so I can take a good look at its eyes. Odd requests I know, but I have good reason for. Zubat never seemed to have trouble flying around in pitch darkness. That means their night vision must be <laughs> top notch. Yeah, no, that makes sense to me. Um, Ian, does it make sense to you? Yeah, why? Do you remember what Zubats look like? I forgot. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, we've okay. got we got a Zubat for you. Oh wait, maybe I shouldn't give them the Zubat that I'm training here. Take just in case it gives yeah. it to them. You interested in this? I'll just take a look at those peepers, if you please, Zubat. I mean, they. I think there was an entry that said they had eyes. Do they have eyes? I it, eyes better not pop out, dude. Huh? Where are the eyes on this little guy? Don't tell me it doesn't even have eyes. But that means Zuba flies around while being completely blind. It's looking sadder and sadder. <laughs> Just getting insulted. Oh, must have another kind of sense. That's amazing and all, but it hardly helps me. What am I going to do about my nighttime shifts on guard duty? Maybe take the Zubat. Yeah. Get a partner Zubat? Yeah. Find some help. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. No need for me to go after. Go it out. <laughs> a little help would be great. That's that. I'll get out there and find a Zuba that can help me as my partner. Thanks for the great advice. Why, Why don't you just take, take this okay. guy after 
<laughs> insulting them. Yeah, I know, right? All right, that's one thing down. So let's see what else. So we don't have we don't have that yet. So you need to learn more about her requests. We just okay. I Show mean, the, the Drifloom we might be able to answer questions for. Um. Oh, we can do that. Yeah, yes. go give him a. Go, go a give him a dude. Yeah, to keep forever as a freaking. Oh yeah, we're just gonna be friends with them. Maybe no. they'll give him pickles. You know what? Maybe this Juju will love pickles. Yes, I'll give you Geo Dude. Yeah, take uh, this one. Yeah, t yeah. You know what? Take this one. Go, go for it. Yeah. You sure you want to give it? Yes. Please. Okay. Oh my! Would you look at that? It really doesn't look like a rock, and it seems to be the ideal weight too. Oh, it's simply perfect. Thank you, young lady. With this Juju's help, I'll surely make some scrumptious it's, pickles. It's floating. I love pickles. Dude! Oh, never mind. Maybe they do know what dude is. <laughs> I, mean, I guess you have a thing called a geodude. Oh. This rock is floating. Oh. It is Experience not... Experience candy S. What is that? Uh, could they have not put it on top of the Yeah, the just jar? like so. No, that has to be in its idle animation. More animations like that cost money, Casey. They that could cost... have just removed the animation. Uh, you know what? I mean, a little for... Oh, you've already started. Wow. God dang. Hey, buddy. What's up? Listen to your survey court kid, I saw the darndest thing. Scouring the heartwood for crops we could grow in the fields when I saw this Pokemon called Cherum changed the appearance for my very eyes. That's the thing we saw in Diamond and Pearl that changed from a, a berry into a freaking flower? Yes. Yeah, that was weird. Okay. All of a sudden, Cherum's petals closed right up so it looked like nothing but a little flower bud. Wow, I thought. I just witnessed the miracle of evolution. But the next morning when I went back to check out on that Cherum, it was right back to full bloom. But why would it bloom just to close back up? Is that how evolution works, or was it change? I saw something different. When you finish yours, okay. Yep, got it. That's a mm. nice, easy one. I like these, because it's just like, go out, do shit. Come back later. Yeah. Oh, I like man. the ones that are slowly putting Pokemon in the fields. I do, too. I really like the idea of kind of like, I don't know. Populating the area. Yes. All right, so that's on the other side of town. Let's look at... This one as well, playing with Drifloon, see where it is. We haven't gone to the shop in a while. I wonder if they sell heavy balls now. Um, maybe. Where's the shop? Oh, look to the left. To the left? Was that always there? I don't know. It'd be cool if not, if we're going to see the whole town expand. That'd be sick yes, if they're building. Yes, that'd be super cool. Hey, you the one that saw the kids disappear? So you've accepted my request to look into that Drifloon. I can't tell you what a big help that is. Let me fill you in. We've heard reports that Drifloon was playing with one of the village children over on Prairie Loop Beach in the evenings. If you don't know, I believe there was an um, a Pokedex entry that kids who play with Drifloons often go missing. Yeah. Which is terrifying. This seemed like odd behavior for a Pokemon, so all of us in the security corps worried its true intentions were to harm the child in some way. Thankfully, all the village children were safe and accounted for when we went to check on them. But there's one curious thing. None of them seem to know anything about a drift. Huh? Oh. Oh, uh, I've reported seeing this Pokemon. We can't simply pretend there isn't an issue here. Since I called for some investigation, I thought the Servicor would be our best bet. Find the truth behind the drift loon and the child it's been playing with. Oh, shit. Okay. That's super weird. That's kind of scary, huh? Yeah, I know. That's Is what I'm like thinking. Is it, not a real child? Is it a ghost child? Oh, my God. I don't want to think about that. I don't want to think about that. Nope. I nope. mean, if it abducted a kid. I know. Oh, that's sick as hell. I'm interested. Is that sick as hell? I don't want. Oh, God. Well, <laughs> I love that shit. All right, let's go. I want to accept all the missions before we go back out into the field. Wait, look at that lady to the oh, right wait. of us. Nope, now it's the other way. To the right. More right. Yeah. Hello. Oh, who are you? Patches house the mini when you catch. Collect them from here to change up your part. Okay. So this is how we change up our team. That makes sense. I think I'm fine with our team so far. Uh, you don't want to bring a uh, deer with us? I might swap out the Luxio, actually. Well, uh, that Luxio we is one of We have to have our, Luxio with us. Well, it's one of we our could swap Zubat out for a deer. Nah, Casey, I want to keep a Zubat. I've said that multiple times now. We can swap Buizel out for a deer. I love Buizel! We could swap Beautifly out for a deer. Yes, we can, actually. Well, we still need to get a freaking Cascoon, too, so... Uh... Do I want a deer, though? I do. If you want my opinion. All right. I mean, I'm down for that. That's enough of a reason for me. I don't think they evolved. Those oh, but it way. wasn't for Drifloon. Casey, I didn't say that it wasn't an option for Drifloon. I just said I don't like Drifloon that Drifloon's much. Drifloon's the best. Are, is, are oh, they the wait, best? Wait, our fire monkey. One, two. Oh, we should, maybe we should be looking at these numbers, too. 
Oh, weird. Because uh, I need to find out what all these freaking numbers mean. Look at this thing. It's got numbers up the wazoo over on the right side on the stats. Numbers up the wazoo. Numbers up the wazoo. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Thanks, lady. God, there's so much like little stuff to do. You just find your oh, time eating up. Yeah. There's another mission. The Pokemon starts eyeing me. I'll fling an Oron Berry. Yeah. Okay. I've done that before. Maybe I could actually just turn this mission in. Yeah. Haven't got as many Oron Berries as I'd like. Are you f I have a butt ton of them. <laughs> you want some Oron Berries? I've got you. F done. Done so. Super done, actually. Oh, sorry. We got 32 sorry. of five. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, sure. Take them. What are you going to give me in return? I love the idea that this guy is now just going to have Pokemon following because he's full of berries. Oh my god, I would love that. Let's just take these away in my satchel. I won't let your kindness go to waste. Wish me luck Wish me luck with these tumble stones. Oh, okay. So that's cool. Thank Trading you. out berries for... Oh. Ooh. Oh, revives. Okay, well, that works out. Cool. Those aren't tumble stones, and dude. Hello. That was darn Badoof. God damn Badoof. <laughs> I hear you caught three different species of Pokemon in your trial. That's no mean feat. I have a job that's perfect for a high achiever like you. See, I need some help researching. Huh? So it's Pesky Badoof again. Oh, no! <laughs> Look at him! <laughs> I look away for one second, the little scouters walks right into the village. Oh, this is awful. I'm a complete failure as a member of the security corps. How can I face Captain Zisu like this? No, get a hold of yourself. Just catch the Bidoof and everything will be fine. But still, three Bidoof is a lot. Two more than I think I can handle on my own. Oh, I have an idea. Heard that these particular, particular pets get easily distracted if other Bidoof are nearby and end up letting their guard down around humans. So if you bring a Bidoof to draw their attention, I can seize a chance to catch the little troublemakers. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, so do you just need a Bidoof then? Mm -hmm. Hey, I got it. I think you just need to throw a Bidoof out. Remember, they have to let the guard down as long as they have an... Okay. Oh, so I need... Okay, I need to go grab a Badoo first and then find them around town? You are crap at security, though. Yes, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, so I do have a Badoof, right? Where's my strong Badoof? Right here. I mean, to be fair, I'm not sure how great I would be uh, at keeping a bunch of beavers out. Yeah, I mean, because, like, what are you going to do? Like, oh, they're coming in. All right, what do we do now? I guess block the way. Run yeah. at them and go, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so it said, add a bit of your team and go find the bothers of Badoof troubling the village. Okay, so, oh my god, they're just around town? Children. Um, yeah, talk about, there was that one, <laughs> the one guy who just, uh, the, the diamond dude who just talked at us and then left. Yeah. I've known people like that. There was this one person I know who every time we hung out, he would always tell me and everyone that we knew the exact same fun facts about the exact same types of things. Hey, did you know that in Super Smash Brothers, that when this character does this thing, it like its head freaks. It was always the same thing, right? Yeah. Just goofy facts about Lucario in Super Smash Brothers, right? Right. And that sounds like <laughs> oh god, that sounds annoying, right? Yeah. But here's the thing, I haven't seen them now in years because he stops going to the things that I that I go to. Yeah. And I miss him. Oh. I miss these dumb little things that he would tell us over and over again. As if they were the first time, but it was the excitement he had about these dumb little things that he talked about over and over again, right? Yeah. And it was it was that that made it something special, I guess. I don't know. I get that. I, I like listening to people who are very Ooh, here's one. Who are very invested in um Are you supposed to fight it or just throw one out near it? Oh, let's just throw one out near it. Hello. Oof. Oh, let's just get close to it, I guess. I have one in my party, so... Oh, I love Bidoof. Oh, they're so cute. We watched an animation. Was it Bidoof's Last Stand? It was so oh, good. stupid good. It was so good. I've never liked a Pokemon more. Oh. Um, it yeah. really... It does endear you to Bidoof immediately. But yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I think it's like when people start to like something so much that it might seem trivial to others, it can be seen as like cringe or whatever yeah but like you don't notice how like charming or endearing it is until it's gone and then it's like shit dude <laughs> i don't know it's such a weird feeling i feel you i think was there a badoo back there back where i was straight just the, like between those buildings right there between these buildings yeah i thought so no, no it's, it's, a, it's wheel. a wheel close yeah i don't know if you had anything la like that happen just i don't know people telling the same stories over and over well, again? Well, no. Just people excitedly talking about anything, you know? 
Oh, are you going to say me? Uh. I literally heard it in your laugh that you're about <laughs> to talk about me. <laughs> wow. I, uh. Okay. No, it's fine. Actually, I'm you know, not not going to talk about we you. We don't need to talk. We don't have to. But I'm also not not going to mention the fact that I think we spent two and a half hours the other day mm -hmm. with you just talking to me about Pokemon IV and EV training. There's a lot to know about those things, so, you know. <laughs> there's it's, a lot to talk about. It's really true. There is. We're backtracking. We've been here already. No, we haven't been here yet. Where are these Bidoof? I've only seen one so far. Mm, maybe you should have looked more around the lady. You th I mean, the other one was on the uh, opposite side of town. Yeah, it's a little strange. Maybe she gives you hints if you talk to her. I guess I could go talk to her. I mean, jump in the river. No, jump in the I'm river. Not, jump no, in the river. I'm jump in the river. I'm jump not, in the river. I don't need to coward, get saved. Coward, right. Jump in the river. Oh my god! <laughs> propaganda! 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 <laughs> weenie, 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 weenie. Oh god! Uh, do you see any? Yeah, dude? I see some children. Oh yeah, I see some children. That's not a bit Casey. Talk to the lady. Yeah, let's see. Do you have any idea? Let the guard. Oh, wonderful. Very, Nothing. very helpful. Yeah, I know. Do you think we should maybe be right back while we go around town and look for them? Uh, yeah. Check between this building. All right. We'll be right back then. Bye. As we try to find any of these Badoof. Oh, we found one. Yeah. Oh, my God. Far freaking corner. Are you kidding me? Yeah. God, you're just eating our freaking homes. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they so cute? I don't know, but they really are. Dude, I'll find Bidoof all day for you. The entire game could just be this, and I will I will be there for you. I don't know if I would be. Uh, Maybe they don't spawn until you caught for the one of them, you know? Oh, uh, wouldn't that just be Wait, the worst? Listen. I thought I heard it again. Did we you? heard a noise right before we found that Bidoof. Mm-hmm. Oh, I did kind of hear that. I swear I've just heard that as background noise while editing. I'm Maybe like 90% right. sure. I'm so bored. You wish something... I'd take one of these! Nope. Attack her with a Badoo. <laughs> yeah, with the Badoo. Calling the, you're calling the Badoos? Yeah, Badoos. That's another Pokemon. Yeah, green guy. Yeah, a little green plant. Ew. The same Pokemon. Badoof? Badoof? No. Oh, wait. That does make me think. Oh, wait. I forgot I was supposed to be right back. Oh, we'll be right back until we find it. Bye. <laughs> uh, be maybe it's lady. around here. Maybe we can... Can we like, maybe look to the left a little? Maybe go, uh, maybe go back. Yeah, I can't. Sorry. Maybe look to the right a little. I think I saw oh, it. Oh, shit. Oh, Ian. What a goddamn jump, dude. Oh, wait. I really do think I saw it. Left. Straight. That's not the Bidoof! Hi. That's not the Badoof. You can talk to her later. I want to talk to her now. Uh, while we're here, why don't we go ahead and pick up this mission? We can at least get something done while we're looking for these Badoof. You see, someone who enjoys a bit of crafting, you could help me out with something. Yeah, I can craft you whatever you want. I'd be very, very grateful if you could try to craft something useful. Something using a special recipe I came up with. Oh, new recipe. That's cool. So without further ado, here's the recipe. What is it for? Yeah, if I got it, I'll do it. Pokeshi dolls. Ooh. Three logs. Of, oh, no. I think I only have two pieces of wood. Oh, no. I think I only have two pieces of wood. See if you can buy wood from them. <sighs> can I buy wood? Shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, crafting. Yeah, crafting materials. Yeah. Hey, I would like um, mushrooms. Well, we oh. can buy the springy mushrooms. Yeah, I should need those, those for another quest. Yeah, I did. I'm going to go and buy. I want to buy a few more. Oh, I'm running out of money. Oh, no. Oh, no. Maybe we shouldn't have fallen for that guy's con. I know. Maybe in the other things. See, there's two things. Crafting recipes. Maybe this will give me... Nope. Oh. oh but this is going to be good to get. I should probably buy these while I can. Cake? Remedy. I'll buy a remedy. Sure. Can make a honey cake? Oh, I could have bought that. Yum. Oh. oh, no. I'm sorry. I can't help you. Wait. Hold on. You can craft those cakes. I don't have any wood. I don't have enough wood. I've got two wood. Damn it. Hmm. I can't help you. I'm trying to find a Bidoof. Sorry. Bye. <laughs> no food for freeloaders. Yes. Bitch. Sorry. Oh, oh my. Casey. <laughs> Casey. Oh. You can't be mean to people on part. I wasn't on That's part at the part time. Only. I wasn't on part at the time. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> 
<laughs> I didn't see her at all. Oh, oh that's, hey, Badoof. That's so funny. It's nice to see you. Wow. <laughs> Okay, that that's actually hilarious. Shut up. Great going, team. <laughs> we did it. That's all of them. We, we got did it. Now we can go. What the heck? Oh, oh, look at them. Nice work. That puts all the little troublemakers safely in our custody. Now to give them the old heave ho. What? Heave ho. Are you just going to launch them out of town? <laughs> Into the river? Yeah. What? Who are you? Oh, I, I like them. Uh, it'd be a shame to just send these Bidoof back into the wild. No, my construction corps could find a use for them. Well, we haven't, we haven't talked to you yet. Oh, well, you're pretty. How you want to keep them, but these naughty nibblers have caused so much trouble for the construction corps. They're just Pokemon being Pokemon. How the, how are they supposed to know our village is a strict no-chewing zone? Shows good taste on their part to come all the way here to gnaw on our woodwork, too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But if they're going to stay... <laughs> sorry. <laughs> just start gnaw on their woodwork. I'm like, that's an innuendo. That's fun. That's an innuendo. They'll have to help with our work. <gasps> I just noticed the symbols are Cyndaquil's head. Oh, you're right. That's so cute. They've got the guts to keep trying to get into the village, plus the teeth to gnash through the trees and rocks. Just what our core needs. How about it, little ones? Meals taste better after a day's work, you know? <laughs> we speak English! I love them so much. Just what I wanted to hear. I like everyone's design of this game. It's really good. Mm, not convinced this lot have it in them to do an honest day's work, but if Sankra is watching over them, I'm sure it'll work out all right. So I guess that's settled. Thanks again for your help. Wasn't uh, purple clothes very, very hard to get? What do you mean? Oh, what back in the day was it like was purple dye like a hard thing to find? Yeah, I'm pretty sure purple dye like represented royalty for a reason, and it's because dyeing clothes purple was really difficult. Interesting. That's kind of cool. Well, maybe they're maybe they're big in the know-how or something. How are things my good friend? Oh, it's our traveling friend. It's nice to see you, Volo. Yeah. I certainly hope you're putting that secret back strike technique I taught you to good use. Yeah, I'm trying to. Either way, I have some super potions here just for you. Oh, think nothing of it. Having a survey corpse out and about studying Pokemon is great for business, you know? I mean, I haven't bought anything from you yet, have yeah, I? Yeah, really. <laughs> Supporting you now is actually an investment in my own fortunes. Well, then let me buy stuff. You keep running away before I, the player, can buy stuff from I wonder if that's going to be a joke. Oh. What do oh, we get? It said that too bad your satchel doesn't have room for super potions. Oh. And now I must depart. There are ruins that are just calling to me. So what happened to the potions? The potions that you okay. Oh, okay. Thank that's not, God. Yeah, I know. That's not terrible. I thought they were about to just disappear. Yeah, really. What is that triangle? Uh, Experience Candy S, a candy that's packed with energy. When consumed, it will grant a single Pokemon. Uh, do you want to... Okay. Can let's, I not just... Let's oh. put it in storage. Okay, you're right. Uh, that and the rare candy. I think we got a rare candy, too. Whenever that hot meatball is... Rare candy, yeah, that's cool. Raise a oh, level. Oh, cute! It's a uh, chopped candy. That's actually super cute. Ox power and item that sharply boosts the offensive stats of a Pokemon. Interesting. Very like. What well, the that's the hot meatball. Okay, if y'all yeah. have never watched like handmade, oh my God. pulled hard candy being chopped, yeah, it is so satisfying. Iron chunk. Or Z to make the requisite parts of numerous Pokeball. Whoa. Ooh, okay, well, I don't need cool. that just... I can't make anything with it just yet. Uh, I don't need all of these freaking berries in my thing, I don't think. Yeah. It, wow, so this is going to be... This management is going to be a little bit something of the so game. So really, maybe we should have spent the thousand. Oh, Grit Dust. Mysterious Dust that can raise the effort level for one of the Pokemon stats can be used to raise effort levels only up to level three. So effort level okay, is on. probably I wanna, I wanna, that number. Yes, you're almost definitely right. So let me actually look at that right now. Let's try and buff up our uh, Cyndaquil, actually. Wish that. Um, special attack. Oh. 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 Okay, Wait, Penny can evolve now. <gasps> you're right. Well, I mean, that seems like the best way to end the part, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. That seems great. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Let's check this out. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, uh, what button is it? I found the button. Penny. I think it's going to have happened last part, which is really funny. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Penny. Let's go. Our baby. My, this is my favorite Pokemon ever. Oh, yeah? I love Kulava. I think Kulava is 100% my favorite Pokemon. Oh, it's really cool. Oh, I, I do wow. like a Typhlosion, though. I see. I, I like Kulava more than Typhlosion. 
God. You're very phallic. No, they're just a little friend. They are they are a little friend. Wait, let me let me just throw them out like Look at this. Oh, they're so <gasps> I love them so much. They, I love Quilava. Uh, oh. this seems like a good time to mention a story that I'll finish next time on yeah. BLG. Next time on is Gaming, I think we've done just about everything we could do in town. Which, I mean, hey, we had to do it at some point, so good to get it done here. Next time on is Gaming, as always, thank you so much for watching. And I hope that I will see you all and can look forward to Casey's story next time on is Gaming. Bye, everyone. Ian, I have some notes about that episode. Okay. I think you could have said next time on Born Losers Gaming a few more times. I could have. I'm not going to. <laughs> 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 <laughs>